Hello Gemini, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at general energies surrounding career, money and finance for the next two months, which is April and May 2022. Just keep in mind this is general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as I do daily, weekly and monthly readings. And if this is your sun sign, have you checked out your moon and rising one? Okay, what do we have for you, Gemini? Okay, it looks good to me. I'm going to take three cards from the bottom to clarify afterwards. Alrighty, April, May. Right, what do we have? Right, so at April, the general kind of center is Nine of Swords. So there could be some situation that is keeping you up at night, okay? And it feels like that... The whole world is coming at you. Everyone is against you. Look at those swords. They're at the wall, but I feel they're coming to you. And this is so-called 3 a.m. card. You wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you feel, that's it. I can't I can't sleep. All I can think is about this nagging thing. And it sometimes not might be even the big issue in your life. Because sometimes with those big issues, we deal. But those little ones kind of sit in our heads and go round and round and round. Okay, so what this card is, talks about is, is you are nearly there. It is nine, uh, nine of swords. You're nearly at the end of cycle and the solution is coming. What you might need to do is try to distance yourself as hard it might be, but probably the meditation, go for a walk, Get, take your problem and go for a walk. You might be surprised how much that helps your head, your thinking. Right, on the past. Seems everyone's having such a great past. So three of cups, nine of no nine of cups. Look. Three of cups is um coming together. Okay, like minded people. It could be um some um work colleagues do or some celebration celebration. But it could be as well that if you're working as an employer, you gonna take on really good people that gonna contribute to what you're doing. But if you are part of work or workforce or corporate, this is kind of feels like it's nice to be surrounded with nice people. All right. And Nine of Cups is uh, contentment, being happy. You know, especially after the Nine of Swords, what you need is Nine of Cups. You need that good feeling, even though overcoming major dramas. And then you feel, whew, I did that. I survived. And we do, and we do. And look at that. And we have um, eight of pentacles right there. It could be that you are working extremely hard, Gemini. Okay, because it shows here. It literally leads to the sun. It's ultimate, ultimate abundance, ultimate abundance of everything, prosperity, money, and, and relationships, okay? And it seems like now you may be working solo and suddenly this is kind of coming out you know you might be approaching new platforms where you are um, spreading the word what you do and it's really coming to fruition as a sun card this it's great you know it's really abundant it's kind of like shines opens your doors gives you new ideas that you never thought is there it's victorious look at the girl on top of the white horse she feels epic you know it's great even though it costed quite a lot you know it could be that you might be dealing with some sort of couldn't overcome an idea and change something, but you overcame. You definitely, maybe you had a good night's sleep and cracked in. You kept going, you kept going. Brilliant. Well, look at here, we have a lot of nines here, nine, nine, nineteen, but still, I count as like, you know, it is beautiful, nearly finished project. There's something major coming to an end here, like ultimate result okay let's go over, look at them one the may once comes to my mouth straight away wow look at the hard work you keep going and this is a kind of life experience as well it sometimes might have been overwhelming it demands a lot what you do demands a lot but you know you do like doing it you know and sometimes things comes at cost and that is the cost that you may feel overwhelmed at the times do you know what you can do? <laughs> what we could suggest this man put the ones down for two ticks because, but but he's not gonna do that because the village is nearby. You are 
two seconds away from the finishing line. Okay. And what you need afterwards is timeout. Definitely. Definitely. Right. We have four pentacles, two swords. So, right. So two swords talks about decision or making decision and not maybe be so clear on where to go, what to do. They could be as well making decision on new approach. Nothing has to be major or grand, but even tiny, sometimes small decisions may feel like that they're going to influence your future life. And some of them do. Absolutely. But when two swords we see, it is definitely signifies that there is answer nearby. And what we have is four pentacles. Sometimes four pentacles signifies um, stagnation in ways that you are holding on to something too tight. But here... It definitely shows your hard work, especially with ten ones. The stability you have, you know, surrounding the money and things. You look after things, okay? So you look after what you do. You really cherish it. And it's an absolutely brilliant quality to have. Your finances in order. Your, you kind of, there's not a little work job that hasn't been undone. Everything that you start, you finish. And that is absolutely brilliant quality. Wow. High Priestess and Lovers. Wow. So High Priestess talks about intuition. Look, even though it's intuition is spiritual or anything like that kind of energy, that's what we need to do as well in career and finances. Sometimes to make a decision, especially, we have to listen to our inner voice. And when our heads are full of chit-chat, 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 little kind of noises, we can't hear it. So what we need to kind of calm ourselves down and then the voice of intuition will be heard. Okay. And it's as well, it's kind of, well, sometimes could be mystical. There could be some sort of um, hidden talents coming out. Okay. So you might have some sort of maybe new ideas on what would you like to go further. It's some sort of new approach and things. And you're like, oh yeah, I remember I used to do this and that, you know, you, as you grow out up, you come to learn different tools and you forget about them and it could be actually coming into play and they're coming be oh yeah i know actually how to let's say i don't know make nice pancakes or whatever and this could sometimes start something new we have lovers here so lovers is about partnership but lovers is as well kind of two opposites in ways so you might come to meet someone that help you to take to the next level or give you great information, you know, um, how to improve what you're doing. Okay, especially if you need to, to make decision on some sorts. Okay, they could be a good uh, person in, uh, or at work or that is good friends to you. And they might give you good advice on um, how to approach that. Yeah, alrighty. What do we have? Four of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups. Wow. So Four of Cups is talking about being a bit stuck a bit. But the same as Four of Pentacles. It can be viewed both ways, right? You have the Three of Cups. You worked for those Three of Cups. And even though you can't see what universe is giving you, the fourth, you are taking time out. And maybe you feel that way because after the Nine of Swords, you felt like, you know what? And Ten of, so ten of Wands, you feel like, I need time for myself to rejuvenate, to get back the energy and strength. And when the time comes, and you know what time comes, I will take that fourth cup. I will take it and I'll go for it. Okay? Because Wheel of Fortune is coming on the right time. You see the, the, the animals surrounding it. It's kind of like everything is possible. And the Wheel of Fortune turns around... It's good to see the sun and wheel of fortune because that gives a good future, good fortune here. And we have a five of cups. And five of cups talks about a lesson, looking at the bright side. I'm going to clarify quickly. And five of cups sometimes could signify that you are focusing on what has been lost. You may have, lo may have missed an opportunity. But look, there is more... There is more cups awaiting you there. And there is more water behind. If you see, there is more water. You can refill those three cups and go ahead. 
and go and that's what you do chariot talks about uh free will and marching ahead taking that idea and bang going to deliver right gemini i'm gonna leave you on this note thanks for being here and i'll see you next reading bye bye